Hello everyone, my name is Gus. Hi, I'm Woody. Today we have a scary video, allegedly, I haven't seen it. Uh, it's titled, The Top Scariest Things the Divers Have Recorded. I haven't seen this one. You actually sent me a link for this one, somebody gave it to you. I watched a little bit of it, and yeah. I didn't want to watch too much because I always tell you I want to be natural. So let's see right. if we're scared. Last weekend, it was a funny one. Last time. So, scary one this All time. Right. So let's give it a shot. Scuba diving can be a terrifying pursuit that involves mm. dealing with drastic changes in pressure, I'm dangerous a keyboard out already. and a limited air supply. Most of us never get to see the lowest reaches of the ocean in person, and even fewer encounter life-threatening situations deep underwater. Thanks to these brave divers, however, you get to experience a taste of the fear and mystery that comes with subsea adventures. Let's take a look at some of the scariest videos caught by divers. Scariest videos. Do it. Number 10, Out of the Blue. In this video, intrepid diver Grayson Shepard is out collecting lionfish, a destructive invasive species oh, whose numbers like need to be limited by humans. <laughs> After collecting four lionfish, Shepard saw yes. something no diver wants to see. Roughly 22 miles south of St. Vincent Island and 93 feet below the surface, Shepard spotted the terrifyingly recognizable shape of a great white shark. It was Did he say no divers want to see that? Because I do want to see that. Of course. I, but that, so why already... are Vince, is, that, is that in the Caribbean? One of the Caribbean islands? One of the Saints? St. Lucia? If it's Saint a Saint, 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 it's a Caribbean. Saint, yeah. yeah. Well, it could be. Yeah, it's probably... Okay. It was around 35 feet below him, however, and seemed to be swimming in the other direction. Shepard wasn't able to surface immediately and needed to wait three more minutes in order to avoid the bends. So now something here is not is not jiving. Um, yeah. I don't know if this is the actual video or not because I mean I, I think it is because at the bottom it says Gray Shep uh, for his channel. But if he was killing lionfish, he's not using a spear gun. So these are definitely two separate videos. Right. If he was with a lionfish, he would have a spear, not a spear gun. So let's he see what happens. He spear gun and prepared for the worst. As he waited, the shark decided to take another spear look, gun. Not necessary. emerging suddenly out of the murky water. It was heading straight at him, but Shepard knew not to swim away and trigger the shark's predator-prey instinct. Thankfully, his bravery paid off. The shark turned away to give Shepard a full profile view of the 10 foot long predator. Shepard that's what they do lucky in the to survive ocean. And only lost one lionfish in I'd the process. I'd be so happy. What? Okay, so this, none of that makes sense. So, <laughs> right, okay. Go for it. I'm going to listen. So, I'm, but, I'm enjoying listening to your reaction. <laughs> when you're killing lionfish, you're using spears because spear gun will slow you down. I mean, you shoot one lionfish and we all establish lionfish are the dumbest fish out there. You kill like they're all right next to each other, and you kill one guy, and the other guy next to it. We like, oh, okay. It's like, and well, they don't even move. Like you kill, put him on the zookeeper. Kill zookeeper kills. They literally don't move. They're and the even, dumbest e thing. Even the one that's about to be killed, you're like getting closer and closer and yeah, closer you'd be with like the spear. In their eye. And he's like, he's go like, ahead, shoot me in the face. What are we doing here? And <laughs> you just hit him in the head. Yeah. You know, it's the humane thing. But anyway, you you kill them all with a spear or else like i don't know what you're doing so it's like combining two videos at one he's like oh he lost one lionfish why once is what's in, in the oh. zookeeper it just doesn't make any sense but what you saw in this video with that shark coming to you and then turning around that's what they all do every shark especially if you're on a rebreather you have no bubbles they come they check you out and they swim and away. imagine if that happened to us do you think we would fist bump each other if oh that my just god we'd be like what yeah. would we be talking about after the dive the Dude, awesomeness of that moment. I see the shark coming to me, and I put the spear behind my back. Like, I yeah. hide. And I'm like, no, come in. Hey, come check it out. I mean, it's awesome. Like, I, I, of course. I have no idea what's going on. Yeah, totally agree. Number nine, quaking in my wetsuit. What? Roughly 13 to 14,000 earthquakes occur every year, oh. and hundreds can occur every day all over the world. Oh, that's going to suck. Most of them are up. unnoticeable. But some of them are phenomenally destructive and can cause unstoppable tsunamis. These divers were given an idea of just how powerful an earthquake can be when they mm. were swimming in Batangas in the Philippines. Mm. All of a sudden, the seabed starts to shake violently, wow. throwing up sand clouds and tossing rocks from side to side. Wow. Even the seaweed looks concerned. 
This was the result of a 5.6 to 6.0 magnitude earthquake, That's which wild. admittedly doesn't seem to last very long, but was extremely powerful nonetheless. There's very little footage of this rare occurrence, so we're lucky that these divers were there to capture such a ground-shaking spectacle. I wonder if SpongeBob got out okay. Number 8. I mean, if that's Under real, that was cool. Yeah, that's cool. Around 95% of the ocean's water remains a mystery to us, which basically yes. means there are all sorts of horrifying, undiscovered creatures lurking down where the light won't reach. I, I don't know why we have to use the word horrifying, but yes, there's we, we've discovered a very, very small percentage of all the creatures in the ocean, supposedly. True. In April of 2012, one such creature was spotted by an oil rig's underwater camera at a depth of over 5,000 feet. Like As the giant camera squid. rises up along one of the support struts, its view is suddenly obscured by an enormous brown mass. What the, the slightly translucent organism shifts and billows through the water like a silken bedsheet. Dude. And occasionally reveals either an organ or a frill that makes me think I'm looking at a creature from another world. This amorphous Which life form was are. eventually identified yes. as a placental jellyfish, oh. also known as a deep stereo reticulum. And only within the last seven years have scientists been able to... Wait, what was the... I missed that. Can you repeat the, the name again? It's a what? Of course, it's uh, the stereo reticulum. Capture images of this strange Jeez. creature and its that cousin, happened. the Deep Steria Enigmatica. There you go. As Deep, deep, deep Steria Enigmatica? Yeah, there's it's no their telling cousins. what else will be found in the darkness below. Number seven, three days off. Oh, oh in we late 2013 reacted to this. Capsized off the coast of Nigeria, and for three days the wreck of the ship sat at the bottom of the sea before salvage divers reached it. The yep. divers were there only to collect the bodies. After finding four dead crew members, the divers believed they'd found another one upon seeing a limp hand floating in the water. But when diver Nico Van Heerden grabbed the hand, the hand grabbed back. It belonged to Harrison O'Keen, yes. the ship's cook, who had been washed into a small air pocket as the okay. ship was sinking. For no three shirt. days he was trapped Freezing. inside, drinking only Coca-Cola, since he claims yeah, he was unable to consume food or water. By the time he was found, the salt water had begun to erode Harrison's tongue and parts of his skin. Wow. And he'd had to listen to the sounds of his crewmates' bodies being eaten by fish. Before he could be brought to the surface, Harrison had to spend another 60 hours in a decompression chamber so that the excess nitrogen in his body did not wow. form lethal Just gas bubbles hours. as they rose to the surface. Thought it would be more. Harrison yeah. counts himself lucky to be alive, but remains haunted by the ordeal to this very day. And I, I remember reacting to it and saying, you're sitting there and waiting. Yeah. But most of the thought would be, is anybody really ever going to come? I'm waiting and I'm going to survive as long as possible. That's all. But I'm. Open I mean, up another Coke. But that's some strength right there to just persevere. Just hang on, you know, drink another Coke. Something's good. <laughs> and he even tried. I think I remember the story. Didn't he try a little bit to get out? No. No, I don't think he tried to get out. But no, he never. I okay. think. I think this is a good uh, example of humans and, and how they react in these situations. Because when we talked about the guy that, you know, everyone believes that he stabbed himself in the heart. He was literally down there for like an hour. And he found an air pocket and then he stabbed himself in the heart. And everybody's like, yeah, it totally makes sense. You, you don't know how people react when they're, you know, he's not a cave diver like you. Well, this guy wasn't even a diver of any kind. And he waited for three days. With no shirt. Yeah. In halfway in the water. Right. That's remarkable. Okay. Unbelievable. Number six, caught in the vortex. Oh, I think Divers are constantly at the mercy of the wow. movement of the ocean, but none so much as these three who were filmed swimming off the coast of Isla Socorro. As the cameraman pans down, you can see two Remember of this? his companions yeah. trapped in a twisting vortex current. The guy They're struggling the to get out, and by their movements, you can tell that panic has set in. While these fortunate divers did manage to escape the pull of this unpredictable phenomenon, many aren't so lucky, and I think a valuable lesson was learned. Keep an eye out for vortexes, people. Okay. Many aren't so lucky? I've never heard of anybody <laughs> in a vortex until this one. <laughs> and since Watch then. out for the vortexes. They're getting Terrible. everybody. Terrible. Out Number together. five, that's no squid. Uh, yeah. Upon first watching this video taken in 2007 by a shell rig camera, I was convinced that Cthulhu was finally beginning his ascent. This <laughs> otherworldly creature is in fact a magna pena, or big fin squid. 
and it was captured in the Gulf of Mexico at a depth of 7,800 feet. The squid's extensive tentacles are estimated to be 15 to 20 times the length of its body, making the squid around 26 feet long in total. Adult big fins nice. have never been captured or sampled by researchers, so this astounding footage is more an object of scientific importance than one of fear. Yeah, Still, I like that. ever since laying eyes on this thing, it's been floating around in my nightmares. Number 4 left for dead. Oh, for most Jakey. people, the idea of being stranded Jacob in the Shields. middle of the ocean with no hope of rescue is unimaginably terrifying. But that's exactly what happened to 30-year-old Jacob, Jacob Childs. Childs when he accidentally strayed Not away Shields. from his diving group off the coast of Queensland. Well, Jacob was left 30 miles from shore with the sun going down and he documented his experience with a GoPro. After chasing a trawler for about an hour, Jacob seems relatively calm as he comes to terms with the fact that he's going to die. The video then jumps forward to near total darkness, but it's just at this most hopeless moment that Jacob notices a rescue plane overhead, which then circles back round having spotted him. Just try and imagine the emotional journey he went through during those six hours. You won't even come close. Number three. And remember the most mind-boggling part to us when we reacted to that one was, how did the boat captain leave him? Rule 101, roll call after everybody's right. back on the boat. Remember yeah. that? We were just like, how did you do that, what boat captain? Three, whale shark attacks diver. Which I the call shark is the it. largest known fish in the ocean, but it's also one of the friendliest. Right, It absolutely. doesn't have teeth and only feeds on plankton, so it wouldn't normally make for a scary encounter. They're in awesome. this video, however, the diver on screen seems to have done something to really annoy the whale shark. It pursues him with huh. determination for around two minutes and what some commenters have deemed the slowest attack in history. It Dude, would be no be joke if the diver was swallowed by the whale shark, want... but thankfully the creature why. eventually gives up the chase. Maybe the it had whale a... shark may have been attracted to the bubbles or even just trying to play. Yes. Although yeah. with a creature that size, any interaction is going to be in some way scary. By the way, just to add really quick, we're not even going big screen. The throat of a whale shark is the size of a golf ball. So he, he was never in danger. He was going to swallow him or anything like that. They eat little shrimp and krill. That's just open right. their mouth. It's a filter feeder type video of it. even of inspired a user-suggested movie. From the makers of Jaws, I bring you Gums. T-shirt link available in okay. the description. Buy one to be the envy of your friends. I mean, just to put it in perspective, we dive, you and I, all the time in the Ocean Voyager, which is the exhibit at the Georgia Aquarium that has whale sharks. Yeah. They're you awesome. ever been attacked? No. They don't. Not they even just don't bit. even look at you. They just move on by. Yeah. yeah. They're, they're very docile. Gentle giants is what we call them. Number two, whale of a snack. There's only one rule to follow when you're swimming this. with whales. Oh, no. Don't Please end don't up tell like me Jonah. that guy. This wildlife Wait, what did photographer say? very that. nearly broke that rule when he was filming the sardine run off the coast of South oh, okay. Africa in so March 2019. Guy. The diver, Rainer Shrimp, said that the near swallowing only lasted about two seconds, from when the immense creature took hold of him to when he was released. These images show the exact moment that Shrimp was lifted out of the water, so but cool. Shrimp claims there wasn't even time to be terrified. He knew that a whale's throat is actually too narrow to swallow there a human being. That's right. If the whale had pulled him beneath the water, however, it would have meant certain death. So Shrimp counts himself lucky to have been spat out so quickly. Yeah. Shrimp told his son about the incident, and the boy was pretty impressed. But the biggest coincidence of all? The diver's son is named Jonas. That's crazy. Close enough. Try not to make this a family curse, kid. Now that now is crazy. Get on to the most terrifying diver I kind video, of agree with him. Here are a couple of honorable mentions. A little bit of a stretch. This terrifying creature is a frilled shark. Oh, yeah, these are the shark weird looking. The just gets scarier Deep. the more you look at it. The creature only grows to an average of about three and a half feet long, but it has 25 rows of razor hooked teeth, which add up to 300 teeth in total. Nasty. It's also able to distend its jaw and consume prey weighing up to half its entire body weight and its snake-like digestive system can expand to accommodate an extra-large meal. Yeah, What's like, even stranger is that scientists consider the disturbing-looking shark a living fossil because the species is around 80 million years old and has nice. changed little since then. It definitely looks that way, kind of like a smiling maniac that's waiting for you to laugh at one of its sick jokes. Next up, the Icy Finger of Death, which sounds like a move from Mortal Kombat. 
or something the Night King might <laughs> do to true. you. But it's actually a natural phenomenon that occurs when seawater freezes in polar oceans. Salt brine concentrates are expelled from the surface ice, and the result is a downward flow of dense, extremely cold, salty water that has a lower freezing point than the surrounding water. That's this so awesome. This descending plume is. is so cold that the brine becomes encased in ice as it moves. Wow. This creates like a, a hollow underwater icicle, which is referred to as a brinicle. Once it reaches the sea floor, the briny flow starts to pool and spread, freezing everything it touches. Mm, that's Any so awesome. creatures dwelling at the bottom, such as starfish or sea urchins, become trapped in this icy web and mm. are ultimately frozen to death. Yeah. This chilling phenomenon was first captured on camera in 2011 by a BBC team filming the Frozen Planet wow. series. It also happens to be the only footage we have of Patrick Starfish's final moments. Okay, come on. <laughs> that part this is last rough. honorable yeah. mention is the Red Devil Squid, also known as the Humboldt Squid, after the Humboldt Current and the Eastern Pacific Ocean where they live. These killer squid are known for their aggression with a very sharp beak which could snap off your finger. That's true. Imagine being this diver who's over 100 feet below the surface with a creature as alien looking as that around you. Truly terrifying. Humboldt squid can grow to over 8 feet in length and weigh up to 100 pounds. Mm -hmm. Some species even exhibit bioluminescence. Cool. And this video watches British wildlife TV presenter Steve Bakshel handles one of these beasts but gets a little too comfortable. As his partner tries to remove the squid from the diver's arm, the squid takes the opportunity to take a bite with its powerful beak. Fortunately, mm. Steve was wearing a chainmail suit, but even that couldn't stop the pain. Part of me thinks some justice is in order. Served with a sign of calamari. That's, Number one, uh, I, I like a that, deep end. In the Red Sea, just off the coast of one. Egypt, there's a diving location called the Blue Hole. Yep. Despite its ease of access from the shore and seeming lack of current, many have suggested that the Blue Hole is the deadliest dive site in the world, mm -hmm. as it has claimed the lives of as many as 200 divers in recent years. When are we going? To this Can't deadliest wait. Can't Rescue wait. diver Tarek Omar has collected so many bodies from the hole that he claims to have stopped counting. One notable story was that of Yuri, Yuri Lipsky, Lipsky, a 22-year-old Russian-Israeli diving instructor who in April of 2000 captured his own death on film. Which we Lipsky reacted was to. subject to an yep. involuntary and uncontrolled descent due to carrying too much weight, which pulled him down to a depth of 115 meters. Mm. After hitting the seafloor, the panicking Lipsky attempted to fill his buoyancy compensator, but found himself unable to rise. At that depth, Lipsky would have been subject to severe nitrogen narcosis, which yeah. causes hallucinations and may have impaired his judgment. Omar later recovered his body, along with the infamous tape, which he says he wishes he'd destroyed, since Lipsky's mother now has footage of her own son drowning. That's hard. The footage is both terrifying and sad, yep. serving as a poignant reminder yep. of the myriad True. of unknowable dangers of deep sea diving. Rest in peace, Yuri. This one was enjoyable to kind of watch, <clears throat> rather than really react. I mean, I thought it yeah, was pretty good. I didn't like all those little endings where he put like, over dramatic yeah, yeah. remarks adding, and stuff like that. to it. Um, it's, it's cool that it's we good. that we reacted to a couple of these yeah. in the past. Um, we reacted to a couple of them, and especially the one that you mentioned about Jake, yeah, Jacob Childs, who basically was filming his final hours. You know, uh, he thought he was going to die, and it's interesting because we've talked to other people that have been in that position. I remember talking to Ed about this on a on a cave dive that he thought he was going to dive and. He told me, he's like, I, I was so convinced I was going to die that I was like, if I'm going to die, let me enjoy the dive. And he just went <laughs> and said, like, well, you're swimming and kicking and relaxed. And whenever I die, I die. And he made it up. Right. Um, yeah. Spoiler alert. He survived. But anyway, he um, he told me that. And I think Jacob Childs, if you watch the video, he looked very calm, mm -hmm. you know, until he was rescued. But we had a lot of questions about that. And I think this was the first video where I actually surprised you with an interview. We brought him in and we talked to him and we asked him all of our questions. And in case you haven't seen that video, I'm going to leave it right here. Awesome. Check out Ice Jakey Jake yes. and his final hours. Bye, everybody. We'll see you in the next one.